This coffee smells good. Girl, what are you doing with that damn coffee? I began to look up how I can condition my hair without the regular old hair conditioners. I found a neat way, which is coffee grinds. It made my hair nice and soft. See y'all after my shower. After her shower? I'm Sarah Gassell, and I'm the cheapskate baker. This 23-year-old from Miramar, Florida, makes desserts for her family's successful catering company and takes full advantage of money-saving perks at work. Oftentimes, there's leftover food, leftover water, napkins, you know, goodies. In addition to never paying for food or drinks, Sarah saves over $25,000 a year by living rent-free with her grandmother and sister's family. Sarah lives with me because she is extremely cheap. She's afraid of the real world and its cost. In a month, I try not to go over about $300. That's like my max. This is my fabulous wardrobe. It's high-end fashion name brands, but it's low in cost. Many times, the prices roll down because many items, they get damaged on the floor, and it goes on down to $5, then that's fine with me. I'll go ahead and take it and make it work. You see this right here? It's coming on off, but I went ahead and got me a nice safety pin. Fixes it right on up. See this nice little mini skirt that I got? Got it for three bucks. So I had to turn it into a tube top. I never really have to buy a full bottle of perfume. I have so many samples that I can just keep living off of those. This year for Christmas, she gave me a sample of the Justin Bieber perfume. People spend about $100 a year on shampoo. Me, I spend nothing, zero, zilch. If grandma has some shampoo, she'll get it and mix it into her poo mix. All you do is add a little water. You could go ahead and stretch it out. Stretch poo. Armed with her shampoo mix and leftover water bottles collected from catering events, Sarah has everything she needs for a free car wash. She loves collecting her water bottles because that's how she washed her car. We use the water bottles and some napkins from these catering events. We're gonna use about four bottles of water to go ahead and suds up and start the wash. AJ, grab you some napkins over there. Come on. I wet my rag up, suds it on up, and wash the car. Then the rain comes down and rinse it for me. Washing a car at home can use over 500 gallons of water. It's about to rain. Guys, let's get going. But by timing her car washes with Florida's frequent thunderstorms. Thunder's coming, y'all. Sarah never has to turn on a faucet. The big rinse is here. We made it. Come on, AJ. Once a month, the ladies in Sarah's family reward themselves with a day of pampering. But while she's always happy to watch, Sarah never compromises on her thrifty ways. The exposure to good times is fine with Sarah. I'm going to get her feet wet, teaching her how to spend some money on some nice clothes. This is about. Do you like it? Yeah. I love fashion, oh, just as the next person. Look, this thing is a thousand dollars. A thousand dollars. Girl, that's fifty-eight dollars for a T-shirt. But with me, of course, wasting money is such. A horrible thing. I need you to give it another try. I'm give trying. Give it another try. But my price range is ten dollars and lower. I like this dress. I love that. I love it. Let me check this. What? You always want to check. Seventy-eight dollars. What? what? You can oh, afford no. it, girl. I, can... I love Sarah, and I want her to change because she cannot live a good life being so extremely cheap. But while she may have had the last word in the clothing boutique. Sarah's family has devised a plan that's sure to make her part with her money. Tonight's the night. We're finally going to teach Sarah a lesson. Hello. Hi. How are you, lady? Hi. How are you? How are you? Sarah do not know it yet, but she will pick up tonight's bill. T-bone steak. I have um, hot water and lemon. Do you have hot water? Oh, yes, yeah, of course. How much is that? It's a fridge, a hot piece of water. <laughs> That's what I like. It. Okay. Sarah only spends $250 a year dining out, 90% less than most Americans. When I go to restaurants, 
I often have my instant foods. Can you please warm up this rice for me? What Sarah does, she brings her own microwavable rice. I am so sorry about that. That was very strange. No, I'm never asked me the good ride before. Ooh! Ooh! Ooh. Two. Wow. Thank you. Your rice. Ridiculous. Looking good. Thank you so much. Thank you. Right. Now this is what you call a meal. No. That's what you call a diet. Uh. <laughs> you can say tonight will be lesson learned. We're finally putting our foot down and getting rid of this cheapskateness once and for all. Oh. Something else for free. This is a check. Oh. I guess oh, you'll take you that, that too. <laughs> oh no. No, thank you, honey. Oh. Now it's time to pay. You have the money, so stop being so cheap. Can't talk this down to $10. <laughs> Waiter. I don't know what they think they were doing by having that type of test for me. I can't pay this. Is there anything else I can do, like maybe come back and perform for you guys um, <laughs> oh, or something like not. that in order to so, no. fix this? No, I really need you. Please, just help me out here. No, I'm sorry. Help me out here. I'll wash dishes. I'll mop the floor. What do you need? I'm sorry. Sarah, pay the bill. <laughs> if we force Sarah to pay this bill tonight, I'm pretty confident that she's not going to get up and leave because she loves her family. Okay. Paying that bill was really rough. I never even thought that I would swipe my card for such a large amount of money. I am so proud of her. She made that first step. Yes, finally. And then I heard you, you sir, tonight. I learned to never eat out with you guys again. <laughs> Sarah will be able to change her cheapskate ways because she'll have to. We won't settle for nothing less. Thank you for dinner. <laughs> my sister tried to tell me I can't be a cheapskate all my life. Even when I'm 70 years old, I'll still be a cheapskate.